Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN reporter screams racist lies about Trump. Sarah cuts her mic then delivers big blow to her ego. Fake news CNN's April Ryan lost her ever-loving mind during a recent White House press conference. In fact, her screaming and yelling at White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders got so bad that even the reporter sitting in front of Ryan was appalled as he covered his face in embarrassment. Since Ryan works for CNN, her ranting involved pretty much just racist lies about President Donald Trump. And because of this, Sanders was forced to cut her mic. The press secretary then finished Ryan off with an epic smackdown. The guy in front of the fake news CNN reporter says it all. It's pretty much how the rest of America feels about this whole kneeling argument. But since the media just can't stop attacking President Trump they just can't seem to let this one go, even though all this started well before Donald Trump was even elected president. Here is more on that feud via Fox News. CNN political analyst April Ryan twisted Sarah Sanders' words on Thursday night in order to make the absurd suggestion that the White House press secretary is looking for a physical confrontation with a star reporter. After Ryan asked a combative question during Thursday's press briefing, accusing her of being blindsided by comments Rudy Giuliani recently made on Fox News, Sanders told Ryan, Well, with all due respect, you actually don't know much about me in terms of what I feel and what I don't. Ryan misquoted Sanders while speaking to CNN colleague Don Lemon on air afterwards, claiming the press secretary said, You don't know me, before declaring the phrase to be fighting words. For Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the presidential spokesperson, the mouthpiece for the President of the United States, to say, You don't know me, in certain quarters in this nation, that starts a physical fight, Ryan said. I was very shocked. It was street. I will even go beyond that, it was gutter. Sanders did not immediately respond to request for comment. Sanders, who is from Hope, Arkansas, soon found herself catching Twitter shade from none other than former Democratic Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake, as first reported by Daily Caller's Amber Athey, who offered Baltimore native Ryan an unsolicited comeback suggestion. Rawlings Blake recommended that next time, Ryan should say, I may not know you, but I damn sure know a lie. And you are wearing it sis, all over your face oh wait is that a smudge in your liner? The liner remark is a callback to the controversial stand-up routine during the White House Correspondents' Dinner when Michelle Wolf poked fun at the press secretary's eyeliner. Ryan quickly responded, lol stop. Be more in the house I know you have my back. That you don't know me stuff begins fist fights. She needs to know what she is saying. I am not the one. Rawlings Blake then responded, already took my earrings off and Vaseline in my purse, and added a fist emoji, to which the CNN political analyst fired back. That is what I am talking about. Take off that pretty ring to fourth. Sick, street fight. Lol. Ryan and Sanders have been involved in verbal altercations in the past. Sanders recently slammed Ryan, who is American Urban Radio's White House correspondent, for asking if President Trump has thought about stepping down. Sanders fired back, No, and I think that's an absolutely ridiculous question. Ryan also famously accused Sanders of lying about whether or not she baked a pie for Thanksgiving. The United States Secret Service directed Fox News to CNN and the White House when asked if they consider the latest comments a threat. CNN did not respond to request for comment. We have spoiled rich elitist brats who make on average over $2 million a year for tossing a damn ball around and they decide to take a knee during our national anthem because they are pretending to be social justice warriors while they try to convince us this is a freedom of speech issue. It's not. In fact when you are working for someone you pretty much are allowed to say or do whatever you want and the government can prosecute you. But your employer can fire you. You can't work at McDonald's and start yelling out that their food is unhealthy while you are on the clock. That's just not the way freedom of speech works. In some nations, like Great Britain, you can get jailed for insulting protected groups such as Muslims, in the US because of freedom of speech, you can't, but you can suffer consequences such as losing your job. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.